So a lot has been happening these past few days. I've just been moving around to place to place. Um, but a couple days ago, I was in Mount, around Mount Fuji area and I cannot believe the perfect weather I had. Like, I was super lucky because before I arrived, I only had one day there. But before I arrived, everyone kept saying, oh, you're gonna be really, really lucky to get good weather because it had just been raining like majority of the days there the previous week. But the one day I was there, it was perfect and I managed to get some epic drone shots. So these are the drone shots right here. awesome is that oh I'm just so stoked it was just just one of those lucky moments but today I am in Toyama and I'm currently heading to the train station to go over to Kyoto so that is my adventure today Woo! Okay, so before arriving to Japan, I purchased one of these. It's a Japan Rail Pass, and I highly recommend these if you're traveling a fair bit on trains throughout Japan, uh, because it'll be well worthwhile. But I think I purchased mine for 760 Australian. But this is a 21 day pass. You can also get a seven day pass and a 14 day pass. But they're super easy to use. All you have to do is just walk through, show them the pass, and there is reserved seats and non-reserved seats on the train, but you don't have to reserve a seat or anything, because there is parts of the train where it will say non-reserve, like that right there, if you saw that, where it says non-reserve, so you just find that, walk onto the non-reserve section, and then you're good to go to your next destination. Hello Kyoto, now to figure out how to get to my hostel. So I'm going to have to get a subway to my hostel because it's too far to walk. And I figured out that I can't use my PASMO card, so I actually have to get something else for the subway. So I've made it to my hostel. Grids. I uh, can't check in until like 4pm, so I'm just going to venture around. But oh my god. God, looks like Kyoto has some amazing food. There's just like this whole walkway of just food. But I'm gonna show you that right now, guys, because I am hungry, it is lunchtime, and I'm gonna eat some delicious food.
Okay, so this is the main big park throughout the center of Kyoto. That's the name of it right there. But it seems like there's a lot of palaces, gardens, and temples, shrines. So, let's check it all out. So yesterday was actually the last day of the public holiday golden week which means it's so much better for me because tourist areas like this is so much more quieter than <laughs> my previous tourist areas I've been in and accommodation is just so much more cheaper and easier to get. Well, I feel like I'm gonna have to end the day of entering there. It's getting to the point where my legs are just gonna collapse on me. Oh, it's really getting tiring, all these big days of walking. Every day I've been walking like over 20,000 plus steps, but I'll get a relaxed day sooner or later. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Another big day of temples, shrines, and amazing food. But if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Remember, subscribe to my channel. Follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, and I'll see you another day adventuring around Kyoto. Bye.